Good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. How are you? You feeling better? Fine. Oh, thank God. You're feeling better than yesterday. Um, perdón. ¿Se siente mejor que ayer? Ah, siempre con la tos, teacher. Por momentos. Oh my God. That's so sad. Yeah, I hope you feel better. Sí. Sí, esperemos que sí mejore. Well, welcome. <laughs> welcome to today's class. It's just you and I. We're going to work in pairs. <laughs> I'm going to ask you questions, okay? And you're going to answer. And you're going to be able to answer, hopefully. Well, hopefully somebody else connects to class. But if not, we're going to have a one-on-one -on -one class. Okay? Yes. Perfect. How was your day? Um, bien. Good. Fine. Hi, teacher. Okay, nice. Did you complete the platform? Yes, la, the, the um, exam final. Really? Este, en, la, en la primera parte, no, ahí sí no comprendí este teacher. Really? Porque todas me salen malas. Mm, wait a minute. Let me share the screen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one. This one, right? Uh, section one, section two, section, section three. Fi section five. Uh, maybe. Five. Uh -huh. Final exam. Final exam. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's give it a second. Yeah. Um, the listening. The first, uh, yes, yes. One second. Se tardan un poco en cargar. One minute. Oh my God. <laughs> this is instructions. Listen to four people describe their homes. Number the picture from one to four. Type the number in letters. Do not need a capital letter or a period. Vale, las instructions son que tiene que escuchar a las cuatro personas describir their homes, o sea, sus casas. Tiene que enumerar las fotos from one to four, pero tiene que enumerarlas con, digamos, la palabra. Por ejemplo, si usted quiere, ah, dice, este es number four, va a escribir F-O-U-R, no el número. Ok. Hay the numbers in letters. Do not need a capital letter or a period. No necesita este, sí. poner ajá, mayúscula, mayúscula o minúscula. No necesita poner mayúscula ajá. ni punto. Ni, ni punto, ok. Uh -huh. Eso es. Veamos. Pero todas me salieron malas. Sorry. Todas me salieron malas en esa, en esa parte. Y si le escribió así como sí, three. Digamos ¿cómo? three, ajá, two, uh, one. Ok. Pero solamente fue esa parte. Solamente esa. Bye. Déjenme ver. We'll do it again. Vamos a dejar de compartir por efectos de el audio. Share the audio. Let's see. Go with this one. Mm -hmm. Five. Exercise four. Listening. It has just one room. Listen to four people describe their homes. Number the pictures from one to four. One. My family lives on the first floor of a house. Another family lives on the second floor. The people on the second floor are nice. But they're not very quiet. Vale, ¿cuál de todas esas cree que era el number one? Um, four. Ajá, ¿qué tendría que haber escrito? Así, one. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ok. 
Ya, es que Ay, tiene que prestar con mucha atención a, la, a lo sí. que está ahí. Sí. Yes. Ok. ¿Ahora sí? Así. Perfecto. <ríe> Don't worry. Hello, Miss Pino. Finally, you came. <ríe> Good evening. How are you? I am sick. Sick. No me parece. I don't agree. I don't agree with you. You all get sick. Coach? I have the cough. I have the cough. Cough. C O U G H. Cough. Cough, cough, like coffee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My goodness. And you're not going to work. You're doing home office. Yes, yes. This week, home office. All week. Two. <laughs> Last week, too. Yes. Oh my God. All January, uh, all February, doing home office. The, yes, the last week. Uh, because uh, because of the COVID in, cases. Yes, yes. Oh my goodness. In this in this week, for me. Because of me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mr. Cáceres. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine. <clears throat> uh, tired. Tired. Are you working at home again? No, no. Not tonight. This day, no. Tonight, no. Thank God. You always have a lot of work to bring home. Is for será por los taxes, Mister? For the es taxes declarations. En parte. Y sí, por la, y, y por el closing del mes, vea. Sí, no, el, el problema es que mi jefe está incapacitado por 15 mm. días. Mi compañera de también del o sea. De to, todo el departamento está incapacitado, solo wow. yo estoy vivo. <risa> oh my God, Survivor. <risa> Entonces, prácticamente me ha quedado todo el departamento para Literally. Ay, no. Be Give me one second. Necesito conectar la computer. One second. It's dying. Oh, no. That's so bad. So terrible to hear that. <risa> yes. Oh It's terrible. Yes, I, I suppose you had a lot of work. Yes, definitely. I know. Wait. Oops. Sorry. No sé si les pasa que se quedan atrapados en los audífonos. <laughs> I was moving to connect the computer for me a lot of love of different. Sorry. That's terrible. Okay. Well, Mr. Lopez, Mr. Henry Lopez, welcome. Good evening. How are you? Good. Good. Ready for the class. Yes. Okay. How was your day? Did you have a good day? Did you work? Uh, yes. Cansado, no sé cómo se dice. I'm tired. Tired. I'm tired. All right. Okay. Yes. What What's your job? What do you do? Uh, a salesperson, a technician. I tried to remember what you said last time. No? Se sí me escucha bien, fíjate, porque tengo problemas en el. Sí, se escucha un poco bajo el, el micrófono, de hecho. Are you using a computer or or a cell phone? A computer. Sí. Lo más, lo más indicado en ese caso es que usen earphones. If you use earphones, es wow. más fácil. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Porque si no, es como estar el micrófono un poco más lejos. En cambio, los earphones, usually, they have a microphone. 
Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Lo voy a hacer así, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. So, nos decía cuál era su, su, su job. What's your job? ¿Qué es lo que hace? ¿A qué eh, se dedica? I say, sale. You are in sales. I, you are sale. a, yeah. Oh. I am in sales. This, o sea, estoy en venta. I am in sales. In sales. Okay. And yeah. you work for yeah. a, for which company? Uh, yes. The Amazon FBA. Really? In which yes. store? <laughs> in what store is that? Uh, I am in the department the bombas. Really? Where? Department in Bombas. They have a, a Bidri department in Bomba. Yes. Really? The, where? where? Yes. The Is... Bomba, the Cisterna. Eh, ah, the no, the, no the, the department store. Ah, but no. which Bidri store? The one in San Benito, the Vidri in Santa Tecla, which Vidri? Uh, Vidri San Benito. Really? Yes. You have a difficult time there. <laughs> yes. So you are in the department of water or hydraulic bombs to pump water, pumps actually. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes. For water times, sí. all right. That's interesting. Uh, we need a discount. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Please. <laughs> okay, yes. Mr. Henry Lopez. Okay, nice. So, what time do you start work? At seven? At eight? At nine? Uh, the seven. The seven. Seven o'clock, me, en media, no sé cómo se dice. From 7.30. Ah, ok. Eh, seven o'clock. Uh, no, seven o'clock es las siete en punto, pero si me dice que empieza ah. a las siete y media, from 7.30 o from seven and a half, until? No, es... Eh, Hoy uh -huh. fue mi entrada eh, 11. At 11 a.m. Ayer 11. So you say, I start work at 11. 11, okay. And okay. I finish work? And I finish work at 7 p.m. Speaker, eh, correcto. 7 p.m. A las 3, eh, 7 y media. 7.30, 7 and a half p.m. Oh my goodness. So you had the late chief. Tuvo como el turno de la tarde. Yes, the cierre. Mm, nice. Okay. And you work in San Benito and you live in? In, in San Salvador. Sorry, sorry, San Salvador. Pero, in San Salvador. Eh, Escalo. Eh, In Escalón, so it's not very far. Yes. In yes. five minutes, you are at home. Yes. Oh, nice. That's good. Very nice. Very good. That's nice. Porque si imagine, so you finish work at 7.30 and you live in San Martin, for example, or you live in Sonsonate. My goodness, that's far. Yes, terrible. Terrible. <laughs> yes, because of the traffic as well. Okay, nice. Mr. Romero, welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, teacher. How are you, Mr. Romero? Um, I am fine. How is it going? How was your day? Did you have a good day? Did you work? Did you mm, rest? So so. so so. So so. I'm very hard. Ay, busy, stressful. Yeah. Too much work. Oh my goodness. Did you have dinner? No. Not yet? Not yet. My goodness, what time do you usually have dinner? One, when, one half. When we finish the class, you have dinner? Yeah. 
Jesus Christ, at 10 p.m. <laughs> yeah. And what time do you go to bed? Uh, and sometimes uh, I have a uh, dinner. Sometimes you have dinner. Uh, sometimes you don't have dinner. Okay. Sometimes you prefer mm -hmm. to sleep. Perfect. Oh my God. <laughs> That's terrible. Question de costumbre. Really? Yeah, yeah, but for los antiguos trabajos que tenía igual. So you used to have worked at night. Yeah. Oh, I understand. My yeah. goodness. Well, yeah, probably you get used to. I think I wouldn't get used to. <laughs> I would suffer and cry <laughs> and be miserable about not eating dinner. Imagine, I usually start work very early in the morning. I used to start working at 6.30. But then I start working at seven. But to be at work at six thirty or to be at work at seven, you need to leave the house before six, of course, at five thirty. So I discover that I was not performing. I was not being very efficient if I didn't have breakfast. So no matters how early, I always had breakfast before I start working because I think I wake up and I'm very active when I eat breakfast. But if I don't eat breakfast, I'm terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it happened. Well, now we have more students. Woo! We have Miss Brenda too. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Good. I'm very busy. Very busy, I imagine. What do you do? What's your job? I'm a nurse. I'm a nurse. nurse. And you work yes. at, a, a, at a private clinic, doctor, you told me last time, right? Yeah, so many. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> Not very private. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, good. Well, welcome. Okay, how many years have you been a nurse? ¿Cuántos años lleva siendo nurse? Eh, siete, seven. Seven years. Yes. Oof. And what's the most difficult? ¿Qué es lo más difícil de ser nurse? Eh, sería lo, la canalización de personas que están deshidratadas. Oh my eh, God. Toma de... ¿En qué consiste eso? What is it? Eh, Tomar venas eh, es cuando se aplican sueros endovenosos. Mm. Eh, cuando están deshidratadas se rompen las venas, no aguantan. Really? <ríe> son bien difíciles. Yes. I know, I know. Ya he visto. Una vez me tocó llevar a una persona. I mean, he was a colleague in my work, but he was suffering. Había estado con vómitos y diarrea como por two or three days. Y de repente se desmayó. It, I had to take him. Era yo, yo la única que tenía car. So I took him to the hospital. No, to the unidad de salud. And uh -huh. then, no lo lograban estabilizar. It was like... No, están deshidratados. Pues estamos. Yes. <laughs> sí, igual, la, la chica estaba bien nerviosa hasta que, la, I mean, la nurse que le estaba buscando las venas, estaba bien nervous. Y uh -huh. hasta que llegó el doctor. So it was the doctor who, who did it. Oh, sí, porque ellos son anatómicamente, ya no son visibles ni de tacto, son anatómicamente la buscan. <laughs> right, they have like that knowledge, ¿verdad? Sí, ya tienen como ese conocimiento. Interesting, this is an interesting sí. conversation. We need to sí, know sí, more sí. about this. And with the pandemic, ¿cómo le ha ido? Eh, más o menos, eh, un poco ocupada a veces, un poco, cuando, cuando van las oleadas se, se ocupa uno más. This Omicron. The Omicron is terrible. Sí. No, es menos agresivo. Fue más del right. principio. Quizás At the beginning. No At the beginning. Y que todos estaban súper histéricos. Sí. <laughs> Everybody was like, no, don't catch, don't go, no, go. Yes, I know. 
my brother had to had to go to the hospital y me dice, uy no, me dice que no lo dejaban pasar ni del portón. No, y los trajes horribles. Right, all the equipment. Yeah, it was terrible. Definitely. Yes. Well, thank you for sharing. This was an interesting conversation. All right, let's get started. Today's class, okay? <laughs> I almost forgot we have some objectives because the conversation was so interesting. I'm sorry. Let's see. Let's continue. This is our class number 11. I just refreshed the norms, okay? So at the end of this class, you will be able to create sentences using adverbs of frequency and describe your habits by using adverbs of frequency, of course. These are the adverbs of frequency. Let me move this because it's affecting the vision right here. Okay. Adverbs of frequency are these words that express how often something happens. So these are the most common. Always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, and never. Always, algo que pasa al 100%, casi todo el tiempo all the time usually from 90 to let's say from 85 to 90 99 probably casi siempre right so it's usually it's very very common to happen often con bastante frecuencia what probably goes from uh what from 65 to 85 probably sometimes maybe in the 50 hardly ever hardly ever has a synonym that it can be rarely hardly ever is casi nunca and never is never right <laughs> nunca so here is the order we always have well most of the time have the subject then the adverb of frequency then the verb and the complement right I always eat breakfast. I usually eat breakfast. I some I often eat breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. I hardly ever eat breakfast. I never eat breakfast. Sometimes I eat breakfast. Por eso les decía, el adverb of frequency por lo general va entre el subject y el verbo. Pero a exception de sometimes. Sometimes se puede poner al inicio, before the subject. Yes? You puedo decir, sometimes I eat breakfast, or I sometimes eat breakfast, yes? Y para preguntar con qué frecuencia haces tal cosa, decimos, do you ever? Do you ever have fish for breakfast? Yes, I always do. Or sometimes I do. No, I never do. Yes? ¿Hay alguna question hasta acá? I have a question. Yes, ask me. Sometimes in, in this class only. Sometimes. First. Yes, sometimes es el caso caprichoso. Sometimes can be, como la regla normal, between the subject and the verb. I sometimes, or sometimes I eat breakfast. Aún hay personas que lo usan hasta el final. I eat breakfast sometimes. It's not that common. Lo más common es que lo pongan in medio o al inicio, at the beginning, before the subject. Mm -hmm. All right. Any other question? No more questions. Okay. Voy a enviar este screenshot para que resuelvan este exercise. Si se fijan en estas questions o en estas sentences, tienen el adverb of frequency aquí al final in parentheses. Of course, you're going to put it in the correct place. And the first example is already completed. What do you usually have for breakfast? Because you is the subject and have is the verb, right? So the correct place is here. What do you usually have for breakfast so you're going to complete the next and the next and the next and the next in the groups 
Are you ready? Yes, I'm gonna make groups. I'm gonna make two groups only because we're very few. So, vamos a estar en dos grupos para que puedan comparar sus answers. Ahorita comparto el screenshot, don't worry. Listen the play. Well, I often okay. have often uh -huh. have coffee, cereal, and juice. Yes. Okay. 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 Do you eat breakfast at work? I do you ever eat ever eat breakfast at work? Okay. Bueno, I sometimes, sometimes la puedo utilizar de dos maneras, ¿verdad? Perdón. Sería I sometimes have breakfast at my desk. Oh, sometimes have breakfast in my dress. At my dress. Sí, correcto. <coughs> Perdón. Eh, la, la otra sería, do you usually eat rice for breakfast? Claro. Uh -huh. In... <coughs> Perdón, no. no had, uh, Hardly ever have rice. Yes. No, I have. No, I hardly ever have the nuevo. Uh, right. right. Uh -huh. No, I hardly ever have rice. Okay. Sería <laughs> verdad. Sí, así tendría que quedar. No, I have a, hardly ever. No. No, I, I hardly, hardly ever, ever have rice. Ya no, me estoy, estoy anotando. Ok. <laughs> el, el, en la primerita dice, why do you... What do you usually have for breakfast? The last letter. No, I hardly ever have. All right. The practice pronunciation or uh, no. solamente con <coughs> Con el adverbio de frecuencia, sometimes. <coughs> Nos explicó la teacher que podía ir, eh, <coughs> perdón, entre el sujeto, el adverbio de frecuencia y el verbo. 
Y O <coughs> puede ir al principio del sujeto. Eh. Ajá, no es necesario que vaya el sujeto. En, en Sonta y nada más. El sujeto... Eh, una, una duda. El sujeto es que... Es la que compone la oración, ¿verdad? El sujeto ah, sí. es... Ah, ya prácticamente de quién se está hablando. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. <coughs> Perdón. Ah, en el caso que digamos que fuera, digamos, no fuera el I, fuera un she o un he, tendría que ir with she. You, ajá. Sería will, uh, no, will she often have, solo que ahí sí, no, uh, have coffee. Have coffee, no sé si ahí Have cambiaría, coffee. ¿verdad? Pero, mm, pero ahí no. creo que cambia, ¿verdad? O no cambia el, 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 el have en, en la tercera persona por el has. Ay, yo creo que otro. sí. Oh, ahí sí, ahí sí, no, no, no estoy segura. Ah, yo no creo me que sí. Con los, con los que ah. están, porque no vaya a <risas> Sí. El... En la, en do you have, do you eat, ahí va ever, ajá, do you eat, ever, breast pack, ¿verdad? Sí, sería, do you ever eat. Ever, ever, breast pack. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Is is often or often? Cualquiera de las dos. Oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. Es como potato, potatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes, avocado, okay. avocado, <laughs> avocado. <laughs> no, actually, volcano, volcano. Yes. Cualquiera de las dos también. Either or. Thank you. All right. Okay. I'm little B. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I be, I be. Manuel, say A. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah. Uh, okay. Uh, what do you, what do, what do you have for breakfast? Well, I often have coffee, cereal, and use. Sometimes I have breakfast at my desk. Do you sleep, right? No, I hardly ever have rice. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Is correct, teacher? Yes. <laughs> uh, for example, in negative. Uh -huh. I don't usually have lunch. Siempre sería entonces Exactly. It's, it's like after the auxiliary, mm -hmm. I don't usually. Y para sometimes, también siempre se cumple lo mismo. Mm -hmm. Or at the beginning, sometimes I don't. All right. Okay. 
Okay. Finish the exercise. Did you finish? Yes. Great. Okay, I'm gonna share the screen, don't worry. So that everybody can see the exercise we're working on. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Hold on. <laughs> okay. See. What do you usually have for breakfast? Well, I I often have here. I often have coffee, coffee. cereal, and juice. Do you? Ever, ever, do you ever eat breakfast at work? Uh huh. I sometimes, sometimes, I sometimes here or at the beginning, right? Sometimes I had breakfast at my desk. Do you usually do you usually eat rice for breakfast? No. I <laughs> I hardly ever have rice. Yes. Yes. All right. Correct. Let's see. Mouse. And there is another exercise I have right here. One second, please. I need my earphone. All right. Put this right here. And let's move, oh no, let's move the photos right here. Okay, for this one, I'm gonna need, yes, the text. So we have to put the words in order. I have breakfast on never weekends. So I never have breakfast on weekends. Let's continue with the number two. Words, I snack, eat, I, Hardly ever. What is the first word? I, 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 I hardly ever. I hardly ever. Eat snacks. Eat what? Right? Eat <laughs> snacks at work. work. Mm -hmm. I hardly ever eat snacks at work. Really? <laughs> I hardly ever eat snacks at work. Okay. Next one. Eat for pasta dinner sometimes I. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. 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 Can start with sometimes. It's okay. Sometimes. Sometimes. I eat. I eat. Pasta. 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 Pasta for dinner. For dinner. For, for dinner. dinner. What is another form? I sometimes, I sometimes, sometimes eat, eat pasta. pasta for dinner. Right. Okay. Have I dinner with often family mine? I often. I often. I often have, have, dinner. have dinner with, with, with my family. family. With my family. Okay. All right. I often have dinner with my family. All right. Good. What about you? You never have breakfast on weekends? Or you always have breakfast on weekends? This sentence, you have to transform the sentences, but according to your real information, according to your personal information. In my case, I would say, I always have breakfast on weekends. Late, but I always have breakfast, okay? I, I usually eat snacks at work because they pick me up. <laughs> um, I hardly ever eat pasta for dinner. I can say I never eat pasta for dinner. Mm, 
I rarely, I hardly ever have dinner with my family. I usually eat dinner alone because I don't live with my family. So <laughs> when I visit them, I eat dinner with them, but that is hardly ever. So tienen que reescribir las sentences, pero con su información real. Yes? Okay. Me avisan cuando hayan terminado. You let me know when you finish para que nos la digan, ¿ok? Yes? Please. Sorry, Thank I you. couldn't turn off the microphone. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> bless you. Bless you. Yes, that's what you say in English. Like God bless you. It's very similar. They say it's because supposedly your heart stops for. Mm, I don't know how to say that, but. Oh. Uh, very, very short time. Seconds, but parts of a second. <laughs> so you almost die if you sneeze. Are you ready to share your sentences with the class? Ready? Not yet? Yes. Miss Pino, you ready? Okay, so we can start. I always have a breakfast on weekends. Okay. And usually mm -hmm. it is not at work. Mm -hmm. I only ever eat pasta for dinner. Uh huh. Um, sometimes I have dinner with me, with with my family. Okay, nice, good. Who's next, Miss Pino? You have to say who's next. Um, Carla Flores. Carla Flowers. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I always have breakfast on weekends. I I usually eat snack at the work. Um, I never eat pasta for the deep for dinner. I, um, I always have dinner with my family. Good. Who's next? Um, who's next, Miss Flores? You have to say the next Manuel person. Romero. Mr. Romero. It's your turn. Hello. Uh, I have uh, solo two orations that I didn't have comprendido how to do the exercise. We help you. Don't worry. We can help you. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, the one I, I always ride a motorcycle go to my work. Okay, great. Pero eran las mismas. Usted tenía que poner las mismas, pero de acuerdo a su realidad. You say, ah, I okay. always ride a motorcycle to work. That's good. That's okay. But what about breakfast on weekend? Do you ever have breakfast on weekend? Yeah. So, what do you say? I always have breakfast on weekends. Nice. Uh -huh. mm. Do you ever eat the snacks at work? No. So you say, I never. I never eat the snacks know. at work. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. I never eat snacks at work. 
¡Qué envidia! <risa> Usted no es de los que lleva el churrito escondido en el bolsón. <risa> ah, entonces no está mintiendo. I sometimes eat the snacks at work. En the cookies, en the, en the candies. <risa> en the tostadas. No, no exactly. What do you have for snacks? Fruit, coffee, bread. Sometimes fruit. Aha, uh -huh. but then sometimes I oh I sometimes eat snacks at work. Coffee. Or coffee. That's a snacks. Part of a snacks. Uh -huh. Aha. What about pasta for dinner? Do you ever eat pasta for dinner? Sorry. Do you ever eat pasta for dinner? Yes. So I I yeah, I always you always eat pasta for dinner? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> and what about eating dinner with your family? Do you ever eat dinner with your family? Sorry, I don't no, no, no entiendo la pregunta, perdón. Que si cena con su familia, ¿con qué frecuencia? Do mm. you ever eat dinner with your family? Mm. I never have dinner I, with my I, family. I, no, I often, I often. I often have dinner with my family. Yes? Yes. All right, perfect. Usted tiene que elegir al siguiente. Who's next? Okay. ¿Ah? Sería Oscar Aguirre. Mr. Aguirre. Sorry, sorry, teacher. Estaba en una llamada. Don't worry, it's okay. Did you get the idea of this exercise or no? Yeah, yes, yeah, of course. For example, let's see. Usually I have a breakfast. With my family. So I usually have breakfast. I usually, sorry, sorry, usually. Yes, va a poner el adverbio frequency entre el subject y el verbo. Okay, I got it. Mm -hmm. Let's see, I, I, uh, <clears throat> sorry, I often have a dinner with my dad or my mom. Mm -hmm. Let's see, I hardly, I hardly ever eat, eat a snack at work. You hardly ever eat snacks at work, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's all? Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. Well, and then and the last person who hasn't participated let's is? Let's see, let's see, let's see, Brenda Escobar. Okay, Miss Brenda. The next victim. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, sorry. Uh, I'll all, I'll all, all well. Always, always have best, always yes have breakfast on weekends. Uh -huh. I hardly ever eat snack at work. I mm -hmm. hardly ever eat pasta for dinner. I uh, all always. <laughs> Me cuesta always. Esa palabra. Always. Always. Uh -huh. always. 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 Oh. <laughs> I always. always. <laughs> Uh -huh. I Correct. always Got have dinner with my family. Yes. <laughs> okay, perfect. And who's next? Um, Henry Lopez. Mr. Lopez, your turn. Okay, no. No he hecho las oraciones, les soy honesto. Aún no las ha hecho, okay. No worries. No voy a intentar. Okay, try, try. Solo son cuatro sentences, just four sentences. Who hasn't participated? Uh, I have a brief fight. Oh, ¿Cómo se dice? Eh, eh, desayunar eh, frecuentemente con la familia. Eh, Tiene que seguir el mismo patrón del ejemplo. Solo decirnos con qué frecuencia. Have breakfast on weekends. 
I always have breakfast on weekend. I never have breakfast on weekend. I hardly ever have breakfast on weekend. I sometimes have breakfast on weekend. Which is the frequency? That's what you have to tell us. Okay, I never have have a breakfast on weekend. Uh, your weekend. O sea, nunca desayuno los fines de semana. Eh, con ellos no. Solo. No, pero no necesariamente con la familia. Lo que quiere decir acá es que si desayuna, ¿con qué frecuencia lo hace en los fines de semana? Eh, diario. Eh, Entonces, I always have breakfast on weekends. I always have a weekend. I like, always have breakfast on weekends. Breakfast on weekends. Ajá. ¿Con qué frecuencia usted tiene snacks? ¿O tiene eh, qué? Chucherías en el trabajo. O sea, eh, está comiendo las chucherías, pues o sea. Ay, la pusa... <risas> Ajá, entonces, I usually have snacks at work. Yes. Vaya, dígalo, pues. I usually. Usualmente, usualmente. I usually, ajá. Uh -huh. Usually. I usually. Perdón, teacher. I usually have snacks at work. Mm -hmm. sí. um, usually, I have snacks. At work. Uh -huh. I usually eat the snacks at work. I usually have the snacks at work. Okay. Okay. Pasta for dinner? How often? Eh, sí. Pasta. Eh, siempre. I always oh, eat pasta always. for dinner. Yes. I always eat pasta for dinner. I always eat pasta I for dinner. Eat pasta for dinner. Okay. okay. Have dinner with your family? ¿Con qué frecuencia cena con su familia? Eh, always, always. I always. I always. Have dinner. I have dinner with, uh, with my family. With my family. Okay, good. Mr. Lopez. ¿Quién cree que nos falta, que no ha participado? Who do you think is missing? Uh -huh. Carla. Carla participated? Yes. Yes, she participated. Ah, okay. Cesar Vidal. Mr. Vidal. Good evening, good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> okay. Airs calling Mr. Vidal. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cry, Mr. Vidal. Ya sabíamos um, que se iba a pasar, okay? <laughs> no voy, teacher, no voy. <laughs> We knew. Lo que pasa es que nos gusta um, engañarnos. I'm back. <laughs> okay, welcome back. <laughs> yes, well, I always have breakfast on weekend. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I eat a snack at work. And I never eat pasta uh, for dinner. And I never have dinner with my family. You always have alone. dinner alone. <laughs> Where is your family? Uh, it's in Higlisco. Really? Yes. In Higlisco Bay. <laughs> it's a beautiful yes. place. I've never been there. I've been to El Espino Beach and it's wonderful. The most beautiful beach yes. in El Salvador. Well, that yes. I have visited. <laughs> El Cuco Beach? i never been to El Cuco. Never. Never. Yes. Yeah. But I've been to La Costa, I've been to the beaches in La Libertad, but I prefer El Espino. That's beautiful. Yes. And we got lost. Y nos perdimos en el regreso. I don't know why, but we got lost <laughs> because there were so many mountains. So I was like, my goodness, where are we? Okay. <laughs> well, 
Unfortunately, I, I, yes, sir. I, I don't go. It's or it's horrible. Really? Yeah. You think? No. Well, people say it's it's nice, but I've never been there. Okay, just as a reference, I have another exercise. Unfortunately, we didn't have much time to practice, pero es como lo que estaban consultando, que si cuando se trata de la tercera persona, si seguimos la misma regla de la S para el verbo, sí, aunque usemos adverb of frequency. Se fijan, acá lo especifica, obviamente, la S que se le agrega a la tercera persona, a veces se pronuncia como S normal, a veces como Z y a veces como IS. Obviously, aquí tienen como el porcentaje de los adverse of frequency, always 100%, usually 90, sometimes it's 50, rarely, era los que les decía que rarely es como sinónimo de hardly ever, casi nunca, and never, right? So, does Carmen usually study in her room? No, she rarely studies in her room. She usually studies in the library. So, vamos a practicar these conversations tomorrow. Because I see some people are falling asleep and some people had a hard day today, probably. So, <laughs> it was terrible. <laughs> Not like Mr. Cáceres, that his boss is sick and half of the team is out of the office and he has to hold the whole world with his two hands. Así nos está pasando a nosotros también. Four people out of the office because of COVID. Thank God one already returned and the other one is doing a uh, home office. So there are two that are still knocked out. And we are eliminated from the World Cup. <laughs> Nunca clasificamos. Mr. Aguirre's disappointed face. Okay. Oh, Mr. Aguirre, you didn't share the screenshot of the exercise you couldn't complete. Oh, teacher, sorry, because I, I, I saw. You I already saw. solved it? Yeah. Oh, good. Because I helped Miss Carlita at the beginning because she had a doubt. I think it was a very similar doubt you had. So, good. Enjoy. I see you tomorrow. Blessings. Tons of blessings. Okay. Good night. Sweet hey, dreams. Bye-bye. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye. Bye.